Okay, thank you everyone for coming to the channel. You know what it is, Deb Chanel's 48th World. Get into it. Please subscribe, share, and like my videos. Today we're going to be talking about an article or a a uh, interview that was done by Essence Magazine uh, when they talked with Dionne Warwick and she touched bases a little bit on icons and legends and um, she gave a... Uh, um, what do you call it? An example of using Beyonce's uh, a Beyonce career, and that she felt it wouldn't be legendary or her words better. She's not an iconic artist. Okay, let's get on into it. What the wrap up said about it all, and then I'll give my commentary or what I feel about it or what I felt about it because I don't, you know, got my thoughts. I just want to give it to you all, and then. Uh, you know, summarize or read what's uh, wrap it up said about Dionne Warwick according to the Essence magazine uh, interview they gave or did on Dionne Warwick and her opinions on Beyonce and how she feels about her career and pretty much shading the heck out of her, meaning Dionne Warwick shedding or shading Beyonce. Okay, but anyway, it goes in to say the wrap up um, blog or whatnot uh, article they did on the follow-up story of Essence magazine or what they actually recorded and put in a uh, visual perspective as well as a written perspective for us. All right, Dionne Warwick says Beyonce hasn't reached iconic status yet. Dionne Warwick has the beehive or bayhive buzzing with her latest comments. During an on-camera interview with Essence, the five-time Grammy Award-winning singer was asked about today's artists and whether they are creating timeless music. Okay, let me read that again. During an on-camera interview with Essence magazine, the five-time Grammy-winning singer was asked about today's artists and whether they are creating timeless music music. Now y'all remember that, okay? Five time Grammy winning, okay? This was given to Dionne Warwick. All right. I don't know if 10 years from now, anybody can actually sing the songs of our babies today. That's not as you guys say so in shade. That's just looking at it with reality, said the 78 year old, okay? Added Warwick, when you speak of folks who have been in the industry recording as long as I have and my peers, these babies who are approaching 20 years, maybe, which is amusing to me because I'm certain they wouldn't even last that long. But since they have, when they get into the 50s and 60s year range, that's when you can start saying, well, maybe there is a classic hidden somewhere amongst them. But at this very moment, I don't see it. But she also shared her thoughts on Beyonce. I have an admiration for Beyonce, says Warwick. Watching her grow has been quite refreshing. It's wonderful to see how she's been able to create what and who she want, wanted to be and who she is. While she is a fan of Queen B or Bay, she doesn't think the 23 time Grammy winner has reached icon status just yet. Let's read that again now. While she is a fan of Queen Bay, she doesn't think, meaning, She's putting her opinion on Beyonce. The 23 time, that's Beyonce now, 23 time Grammy winner has reached icon status just yet. Now, sustaining and becoming the icon like Gladys Knight or Patti LaBelle or Jonathan Mathis or Frank Sinatra or Sammy Davis Jr., I doubt it. I really do. She said, I love her to death and can appreciate her talent, but that iconic status that I just mentioned before, those names is a long road ahead. After the story went viral, Warwick took to Twitter to clarify her comments, sharing a screenshot of the article. What I said in, is in quotes, what at essence said is not, she tweeted. It takes a long time to reach and achieve iconic status. That's not to say that Beyonce 
is well on her way. She is a gifted performer. That was a reach from Essence. So that was the whole story that Essence, I mean not Essence, but Wrap It Up, had put out on what went through the interview that Essence uh, magazine had did on the Grammy five-time award-winning Grammy winner, Dionne Warwick. Now, let's just bust up some of this stuff. Okay, Beyonce must be in her middle 20s, I'm mean, sorry, middle 30s, maybe going close to her 40s, you know, but maybe not. I'm just going to keep her in the 30 range, okay? So we're talking about Dionne Warwick is in 70, so 4, 5, 6, 7, 34, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. We're talking about 40 years, really 50 years because she's 78. Okay, giving her opinion on somebody that young when she's old, elderly, and got two feet in the grave, pretty much. Okay, now see, I don't too much care for Dion Dion Warwick because she tried to put Aretha Franklin up there as uh, the godmama to Whitney Houston. Then you know Aretha Franklin had to come and tear that whole story up and get her feedback on what she really felt <laughs> negatively about Patti Labelle, Dion Warwick, and everybody else in that genre that was competing against her because. Aretha Frank was like, honey, I am the queen of shit. I am the queen of soul. Hell, she didn't even get Beyonce and be high straightened out when they wanted the title Beyonce as queen of soul. <laughs> like, no. She might be pop. She might be uh, some other thing over there, but it ain't number one. And one that's only going to be in this generation when I'm living. I'm going to be the queen of soul. Not Beyonce, so, so get it straight. So we give that homage to Aretha Franklin because she did have her catalog of music. <laughs> that is definitely timeless. Okay, but get him back. To Dionne Warwick. Dionne Warwick is just an old, bitter woman, and ain't nobody checking for her, and she got to do in and everything. If anybody remember, I'm an 80s baby. I was born in 68. I'm 51 years old. Do the math, okay? So, I am closer to Dionne Warwick age than Beyonce is, okay? So, you know, Dionne Warwick need to fall all the way back, because I remember commercials in the summertime, when we at home, you know, we was at home from school, off from school, you know, getting our little three month reprieve and all that respite and um, sabbatical, however you want to call it. It was summertime for us uh, children in high school and elementary. I was like elementary at the time, and I remember um, Dion Warwick doing this little Madame Cleo type thing, like she could tell the future. You call into this psychic hotline, and she was telling you anything and everything you wanted to hear about your uh, future. I mean, it was a hot mess. So I'm like, you know, you don't have all of your accolades given to you when you were young, because I'm pretty sure it was somebody around your time frame that were older than you, Dion Warwick, but you were breaking out in your uh, later teens, if not 16, because y'all started really 14, 15 years old back in the day, in the 50s and 60s. So you probably got your chance, your chance of stardom or the music industry way before you hit your 20s. And now you're 78 years old and you're trying to give opinions. And, and they're only your opinions, which everybody has one. Okay, just like breathing. So it's it's noted. But what you said was kind of shade throwing or plain like disrespectful if I must go into generations. You shouldn't have said what you said about Beyonce because Beyonce is definitely an artist out here in today's and her generation. They doing the thing. Everything is about uh, upbeat music, shake your booty music, shake your whole body music. I mean, she give you a workout. When you try to do one of her choreographies or her dances on stage or whatever, you gonna get a workout. And if you my age or a little out of shape or a lot out of shape, you're gonna be like, give me oxygen. I need my oxygen tank. <laughs> pretty much okay i need cpr i need to sit my behind down because i'm not in shape and even with her doing her performances you could tell her she tired she don't had three kids allegedly and um she, you know she can't do what she used to do and i think she is recognizing it and she's doing as much as she can touring as much as she can trying to stack that paper so she don't have to be like people like young war with have no assets or no longevity when it comes to her money uh, streams of revenue and all this kind of stuff because I really hope Beyonce basically uh, give up all this fast, you know, gyrating music, get into some slow ballads or some thought provoking type music, such you know, as Marvin Gaye's, you know, what's going on because she definitely has a big um, follower base, you know, on the internet and just entertainment 
uh, industry, music industry. Anyway, everybody know who you're talking about. When you're talking about Bay High, <laughs> they let you know you're talking about Beyonce. You know, because she's just the it factor right now in this genre, in this generation. So while, you know, Dionne Warwick we're trying to throw salt, I'm like, girl, come on. Let me look at your head that you don't know. Okay? And these dogs are going to get on my nerves. And y'all ain't going to be able to hear because my daughter coming in, getting on my nerves, going through my taping. I'm taping, and you making all this noise. Woo! Ooh, y'all getting on my nerves. Ooh, y'all getting on my nerves. Can you go sit down real fast, Austin? Bring her boyfriend in here. No, I'm trying to tape. And this is my second taping on this thing. Don't get on my nerves, Lord. Hush, Jaden. Pick him up or something else. Good Lord. Chuck on in there. On my Saturday afternoon, trying to tape. And I don't try to do this video twice. You know what got on my nerve, y'all? She really did. Oh, my Lord. I'm not going to have to change. Oh. No, see y'all. I can't do nothing. I'm going to have to change venues, guys. I'm going to change venues. Huh? I'm gone. We are, but I'm trying to put a tape out. Okay. Anyway, go and check and see if your grandma ready to go. Hopefully, y'all won't be able to still hear them. I don't know. But it just is what it is. Oh, uh, trying to get a hold of him. And so, basically, let's just give you a rundown of her catalog of music here. Dion Warwick. I looked her up, tried to find her music. Only thing that I could come across was That's What Friends Are For, Deja Vu, I'll Never Love This Way Again, How Many Times Can We Say Goodbye, and Alfie. That's five, y'all. And let's, let's look at some of my favorites from Beyonce and see if she has something really, really valid that she's placing. You got Best Thing I Never Had, Who Run the World, Drunk in Love, uh, EXO, uh, Formation, Natural or Naughty Girl, Crazy Love, Baby Boy, Beautiful Liar, Irreplaceable, Me, Myself, and I, Deja Vu, Ring the Alarm, Halo, Single Ladies, Love on Top, Get My Body or Get Me Body, Sweet Dream, Upgrade You, Upgrade You, Upgrade You, you know, same thing with uh, her husband now, uh, Sean Carter. And flawless. Okay. Can we compare the two? Oh, no, we can't. So let's move on to somebody in her generation, which is Patty LaBelle. Patty LaBelle even surpassed her. If only you knew. Love and eat and want your baby. On my own. Lady Marmalade. When you've been blessed. New attitude. On the over the rainbow. Stir it up. Somebody loves you, baby. And imagine. Okay. Then we got another one of her. Co-workers, colleagues, however you want to put it, down or off. I will survive. Endless love, upside down. It's my house. Muscle, touch me in the morning. Love hangover. Thing from mahogany. Ain't no mountain high enough. Remember me. Reach out and touch. I'm coming out. And do you know where you're going to? All right. Not to stop there. Let's get on my um uh, other person who I call Riri, Aretha Franklin. She has legendary hits as Respect, Do Right Woman, Do Right Man, I Never Love a Man, The Way I Love You, uh, Dot Feel Good, Natural Woman, Chain of Fools, I Say a Little Prayer for You, Bridge Over Troubled Water, Spanish Harlem, Rock Steady, Oh Me, Oh My, Daydreaming, Gotta Find Me an Angel, Until You Come Back to Me. Okay, now that is in her genre. Now, we slide closer to Beyonce's genre uh, of music and her pretty much age group, or she comes much closer to, who still surpassed Dionne Warwick. But Dionne Warwick only named people such as whom I guess she admires, which is Sammy Davis Jr., as she expressed in her, expressed in her video with uh, Essence Magazine. She said Johnny Mathis, Gladys Knight, Patti LaBelle, Frank Sinatra, or Sammy Davis Jr. See, these are her cliques, Gladys Knight and Patti LaBelle, okay? They were 
that's what friends are for type of scenario. And Riri wasn't in none of that group because she wasn't feeling that in none of them because she's very competitive. She already told you she's the queen of soul, and that's just it, how it is. And that's where it's going to be. So she was in her own little lane. But she even kind of shaded Fantasia, which I thought she should have let Fantasia play on her in her bio for her movie. But it's not here nor there. She wanted Jennifer Hudson. I'm like, oh, well, you know, teach his own. But even Fantasia can run circles around Jennifer Hudson. So, you know, the battle of competition being in the music industry is going to go on and on and on. You're going to like who you like. You're going to support who you want to support. And this is how it is. But just to touch bases on people that are not in that Gladys Knight, Patti LaBelle, John and Mathis, Frank Sinatra, Sam Davis Jr., older season season two foot in the gray or they're not already passed and gone you know uh which we do know sam davis jr and uh frank sinatra and uh johnny Mathis are dead and gone but you know gladys knight and pat labelle still kicking but like i said when you're in your 78 as she is you got two foot in the gray and you're just ready to go home to the lord and that's where pretty much uh Dionne Warwick is, and she just needs to stay in her place, her lane, and stop shading these younger artists to try and come up and do what they need to do and do it better than her. It just is what it is. You know, just like I said, Dionne Warwick pretty much had people that were older than her, but she was checking in in the music game, and she's trying to make her footing, you know, solidified, and she's trying to have her place. And I don't think she got too much riffraff from them, but they knew they were getting old, and somebody had to come and replace, okay? But we ain't even going to say Beyonce replaced her. We just going to say Beyonce, and her catalog of music just buried her at least three times. So that's what, six feet, three times. That's 18 feet, almost 20, okay? So... We just gonna keep it right there, but we keep it more funky and fresh. We're gonna go with Prince. Prince has so much music that would she even consider him an icon? I think not because she named the people who she thought was on icon status. Okay, Prince, his catalog of music are the ones that I just like. You got Kiss, you got What I Would Die for You, When Does Cry, Purple Rain, Nothing Compares to You, 1999. Little Red Carpet, I Want to Be Your Love. I Want to Be Your, uh, well, y'all want to be your love. Diamonds and Pearls, The Most Beautiful Girl in the World, Let's Go Crazy, Sign of the Times, Ross, Raspberry Beret, Alphabet Street, You Got That Look, Money Don't Matter, uh, Tonight, Batman from the Soundtrack, y'all remember that one? Beautiful Ones, okay? Then you got my Luther Vandross, okay? Can we touch on him for a minute, okay? Endlessly endlessly time consuming you know you just got him straight up and out and i don't really want to go there because luther has so many but i guess i will go there because he is one of my top favorites all right house is not a home creeping never too much don't want to be a fool here and now superstar any love give me the reason start to love so amazing power of love okay and none other we got Aretha Franklin, who didn't fuck with none of them, okay? She didn't F in with none of them, okay? Who she named, which is Patti LaBelle and Gladys Knight, which I ain't got nothing against Gladys Knight. I love her to death. Yes, I do. She cool with me. Cool beans with them pips. Now, I don't think she would have been anything with them pip, without them pips, but, you know, it was a package deal. So, she still went in that my book. But she had Aretha Franklin, who ran circles around Dionne Warwick. She had respect. Do right woman, do right man. I never loved a man the way I loved you. Dr. Feelgood, not the good woman. Chain of fools. Say a little prayer for you. Till you come back to me. Gotta find me an angel. Daydreaming. Oh, me, oh, my. Spanish Harlem. Rock steady. Bridge over troubled water. One of my favorites. I say a little prayer for you. That it just goes on and on and on. And we don't want to talk about Marvin Gaye. I ain't going to listen to him because we know he got down. He was with conscious type music. Like that what's going on type feel of music. All right. So it just it just tore me to pieces in my spirit when she's going to sit here and try to dog Beyonce of all people. Any other artist she could have said something about. Any other artist. But she said Beyonce was not an icon. <laughs> And if I must read to you about what an icon definition is, let me tell you what it is. The definition of an icon is a graphic representation of something or a person or, or, or something that is symbolic or is a noted figure. And it's just a play on words like tomato, tomato, uh, the and the, uh, freaking frat, uh, legendary icon. 
play on words. Still has similarities. Legendary means remarkable enough to be famous. Very well known. Celebrated. Esteemed. Honored. Notable. Prominent. Popular. Distinguished. Great. Outstanding. Unforgettable. Okay. That describes everything Beyonce embodies. embodies okay. She has a a, a a terroristic, well, not a terroristic group, but a, they would get all up in your social media pages and destroy it <laughs> with some of their words and exchanges when you come from Beehive. When you come from Beyonce, they're going to be in and out for you. It's just like a summer out there. You ain't got on no insect repellent and you got mosquitoes tan you up. That's what the Beehive do when you come for that Beyonce. So. I'm pretty sure she got a, 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 it did say, you know, the Beehive address Dionne Warwick. And I guess Dionne Warwick had to come out and save face and say, no, 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 Essence Magazine misquoted me and this, that, and the third. And what I said was in uh, quotated marks. And uh, Essence Magazine is just trying to, um, what do you call it? Uh, blow it out of proportion, do a spin on it. They try to take my stuff out of content. No, you actually said in your comments that Beyonce, in your own opinion, was not iconic status. <laughs> so I'm like, do we need to replay? Do we need to replay you back? Okay, do we need to get the transcript out so you can read it, or do you want the video coverage where you you sitting up there looking pretty and everything, and it's coming out your mouth? Which one you want? One or two? One or two? <laughs> We will serve it back up to you, Miss Dion Warwick. So I was just thought that was just interesting how she could say and only put certain people who she feels need to be in the iconic stage. And all the reason why you're saying it, Dion, is because you're 78 years old. You felt like, hey, I was legendary. All these people were good and this, that, and the third. And Sammy Davis Jr., Frank Sinatra, and Jonathan Mathis, they didn't have to wait until they got 70 some years old for people to feel that they were legendary type people their music was legendary and, and this that and the third no they gave them their flowers when they were still living so while you try to throw salt on beyonce and her career and how she's going please and i want to go back to when she had said or they essence magazine had mentioned that dion warwick was a five-time grammy award-winning artists in the music industry well guess what beyonce at this very point in life as of may 25th 2019 she is a 23 grammy award winning artist so would you like to have 23 or 5 23 or 5 i'll wait i'll wait right you would rather be having 23 grammy award winning and don't even talk about other awards she don't want versus your five <laughs> i'm like who are you really shading? Are you really shading yourself? Because the statements and, and uh, the interview you had and you comparing yourself to Beyonce was totally ludicrous, totally delusional and ludicrous. You should never said it. You should never have even brought it out that way. And I'm surprised Beyonce knows, uh, Tina knows and come out and check you uh, herself. But I guess Tina has too much class to even sit in the same breath and try to respond back to you with her opinion okay but you know if it was my show i've been up there on social media for a whole week and a half trying to drag you and trying to uh uh put you back in your place as where you need to be you need to be in the 70 year olds talking about your music and comparing other 70 year olds not touching these young as you put it babies which they ain't babies honey they are not in the cradle they're not no you should say young adults they're not babies. They're not infants, toddlers. They're not uh, in the first grade or kindergarten or elementary or middle school or even just for high school. They're not. They're not that. They're young adults, middle-aged adults, got families of their own and doing the thing. Okay? Can't help. All the mistakes that were made and the bad contracts y'all had. Because they still got bad contracts out here. They try to get these new artists in this era, this generation to sign up for, but they like, uh uh, I learned from the past. I don't want to be a Dion Warwick or one hit one. <laughs> I want some money, I want some revenue, I want some re uh, what do you call it? I want to be a signification where that you know my music is all or whatever. Before you play it, you got to give me some coins before you can play it. I want to be one of them kind of winners, <laughs> but Dion Warwick can't say that, y'all. She cannot say that. So I like. Oh, Lord. Dion Woodward, please sit yourself down. Take up a sewing class, a, a knitting class, or 
you know, I don't know what artists or new artists out here would want to work with you because you're throwing shade. <laughs> you're throwing too much shade and you're just showing your hatred and your disappointment in your career and how it did not go in your latter years. And these people are still getting booked. I mean, hey, you should be like uh, Al Green. <laughs> He bought in his 80s and he's still doing tours and concerts and all that. But ain't nobody checking for you, Dr. Warwick. So you just need to stop. Stop it, okay? You only have five hits that I can name. And these other artists, and I think it was one artist I forgot, which I need, yeah, I'm trying to mute R. Kelly, but I'm telling you. Oh, Kelly made good music. Y'all can mute him all day. But he's still going to be playing at the reunions, the homecomings, and, and, and everywhere else you could find that you want. And any clubs, he's still going to have. Because whatever he did in his personal life ain't got nothing to do with his music life. Okay, I keep telling y'all, separate this stuff. Whatever people do in their personal lives, and you have sneaky, peeky, nosy folk going out getting, you know, dirt and trying to sell it for money. And, you know, no loyalty or no respect for the person that you putting dirt on. You know, that's one thing. But when you're talking about music, getting down, feeling good and all this kind of stuff, sociate, socializing with your friends and family, you want good music. You don't want to hear that other uh, after talk because we know a lot of stuff have been happening in the black community and the white community. And it's just too much for us. Too much to hold in our brains. OK, but R. Kelly made some hits, too. Just a few that I like, you know, but I'm saying his catalog is just like Luther Long. And just like Prince, just like Marvin Gaye, you know, R. Kelly may I believe I can fly. Very motivating, very uh, motivational. Uh, Step in the name of love, very homecoming, uh, family reunion type music. Bump and grind when you're in your sexual pleasure type, uh, feel good, um, what do you call it? Emotions, you like that music. I wish, you know, your body's calling me. Happy people, that's another feel good reunion type stepping music. Uh, when with your family, ignition. I, you remind me of my Jeep. Uh, what is it? When a woman set up in the cloud, you know, all this kind of stuff. Make wonderful catalog of music you can't take from him. But I was just like, mm -mm, that's just too much. That's too much. Now, on a negative note. I am going to have to touch bases with my Beyonce and tell her, slap her on her wrist. Don't do that no more. And I'm going to tell her no to tell her, her daughter, Beyonce, don't, don't do that no more. Don't mess with my feel-good family reunion, two-stepping type music. When it's time to go out for them barbecues in the park or in the backyard with family members, don't mess with my Franklin Beverly music. Don't mess. No, Don't even get in his catalog anymore because it's some song that is just left to be song a certain way same melody same instruments all of that just leave it alone beyonce okay just leave it alone i'm slapping on your other hand too so you never know you know when you're up your right one burning your left one gonna be burning too you're gonna remember like don't touch the uh frankie beverly music no frankie ah, frankie beverly and may's music no more that's a no-go okay because i don't want to be swerved to the left swirl to the right uh, jiggle in the middle to the hurts. Uh, let it be in the middle to it hurts a little. I, I, I don't want to feel all that. I want that. I want to hear the instruments. I want to hear the whoa, whoa, and I want to hear a man voice singing it. Okay, dun, and I want to hear the dun 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 You make me happy. Yeah, I want a man saying that. I don't want to hear Beyonce or oh, any more of the Franklin Beverly music. Uh, Franklin Bell and May's music, soul for music that you just like, oh, oh, that's what I'm talking about. Or even Marvin Gaye music. Don't even touch his music. Either. But definitely don't touch none of Luther Bazaar's music. None of them. Because now I just have your version in my head. Every time I think about that, and definitely don't touch We Are One. Don't go there. Don't do it. Uh-uh. Stop. You know, cut off the brakes, put, put, pump the brakes, whatever y'all be saying. Not good don't do it don't do it don't do it okay because i need my childhood to be intact i need to have all my franklin beverly music and may's music intact i just want to feel that type of feeling that kind of music i don't want to be trying to jump up and shake my booty and all this kind of, i want a two-step i'm at 51 years old i just want a one to the left one to the right you know that you know, that kind of thing one two-step that's all i want to do okay i don't want to do the sierra dub it when you want to step I remember when you, I don't want to hear all that, okay? I don't want to be all like, I don't want my body gyrating like that, okay? I just want to come in, go to a barbecue, hear that feel-good music, love on people, hug on people, and then one part of my body trying to like swip, slide, jerk, 
shaking in the middle. Uh, 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 uh. That's not what we do at barbecues. Okay. <laughs> no, we be respectful. We be talking. We be playing spades. We be drinking our cigarettes, cools, our blood lights, whatever that we got going on. Our Monet, uh, our uh, Moscato. We just want to feel good, and we want to just two step and just hang on to somebody and just rock and let them tell us lies and you know all that kind of stuff, shit talking. So that's all I got to say about Beyonce. You know, hope she'll get the picture. Y'all maybe be high and tell her, no, no, Beyonce, go with the other stuff, but leave Duffine and her Franklin Beverly and Mays music alone. Okay, that we don't want to shake a booty on that. Sometimes, and you know, Beyonce be up there, you can tell she's tired. That's why she's trying to get everything in. She's trying to do all the concert around the world, global. You know, uh, maybe she'll be in some... No, nah, she going to be in a juke jump club. <laughs> We're going to feed that to the old artists like Dionne Warwick. And she probably can't even pack 50 in a little bit of club. You know, that's well known. So, no. Nah, we we going to be like, make her money, do all she can. So, when she do hit her 40s and 50s, she's going to be sitting up there raising her kids, going to all these events or whatever. I would love to see Beyonce make ballads, you know, some slow music for the, you know, old folk. So we can sit down and, and, and you know, do what we got to do on her music. But that's all I got, y'all. Y'all be blessed. I'll come to y'all with something else later on today. And y'all enjoy y'all weekend.